Mmm, this hand tastes so good. Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. It's Vlogmas Day 2, and we got a grocery haul in store for us, so I can only imagine what this video is going to be like, how mundane it will probably be, but you never know. I know people were talking about the uptick in positivity she's been getting on her comments, and I do have some opinions on that. But I think what I'll do is I'll wait till the end to give that. We'll just go ahead and get into the reaction so other, so that this video isn't super duper long. So without further ado, let's get into this. Well, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Vlogmas Day 2. First, you guys will be seeing this December 2nd. I, th I think it's funny how she has to like let people know that. But you know what? Whatever. I guess some people won't figure it out. Which I'm sure you guys understand. I'm still proud of her <laughs> for... Recognizing that November 31st isn't a thing. <laughs> that uploaded it December 2nd, and that's the first vlog miss. I don't, I don't understand that. But everyone does it differently. That's okay. So what we have on my lips today is Milani, which is actually a lip plumper, but my lips are so small that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm glad she's using it. I don't know. I think this is why you shouldn't be subscribed to a bajillion makeup subscription services and then also buying tons of makeup from Walmart because it's like, girl, you know that a lot of this stuff ain't going to look good. And like the reason why a lot of these beauty gurus have all this stuff is they get it all in PR for free. It's just not working. I do feel it. This is in 13 Rosewood. I know a lot of people ask usually what's on my lips. I prefer matte, but I wanted to try something Do they? different. This is definitely not matte at all in the slightest, but we're just going to go with it. Go with the flow here. So I'm mad at myself. Um, oh, as you guys uh -oh. Know, sick, and DayQuil and NyQuil really work for me, but I forgot to take NyQuil last night. Girl, NyQuil isn't going to like expedite your cold if that's what you really have. It's just going to like lessen the symptoms. It's going to still take the like normal amount of time for the virus to like rid itself in your body <laughs> so i woke up feeling like an actual like trash can <laughs> what so as opposed to a dumpster <laughs> i'm about to take my day cool right now and i hope to feel better um i'm gonna wash my hands a lot because i'm about to go in public so precaution i don't i hate thinking that i'm gonna get someone else sick like i don't know girl like you really care about other people <laughs> is it just me probably not so we're actually about to go get some sushi, or I'm going to get some sushi. We're going to go hang out with some friends, and then I have to do a little bit of grocery shopping because I have no more fresh broccoli, which you guys remember in my vlog yesterday. Like, I thought you had some left over yesterday. Like, ever, <laughs> this is so stupid. Like, I used to go to frozen veggies all the time until I finally learned how to do steamed fresh broccoli. I mean... It took her to 30, almost to be an almost 30 year old to figure out how to steam some fucking vegetables. Like, <sighs> see, this is one of those instances where I'm like, yeah, this is really petty. I mean, it's in the name, but like, it is so easy to look that stuff up nowadays. It's so easy to look up like how to do hell. I'm sure there's a wiki how on how to steam vegetables, how to steam broccoli. And it's like, it's a laziness factor. That's the thing to me is it's like, it has nothing to do with like her ability to do it. It's just, she's been so lazy her whole life to like figure things out on her own or she's had other people just do it for her. And now I can't get enough. I know it's so stupid, but it just adds so much volume to your meals and stuff like that. So I'm rambling. Um, I guess I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. I mean, at least she's super obsessed with broccoli and not like corn. Frizzy, so <laughs> this is um, one of my favorite things is when people like my favorite vegetable is corn. It's like you might as well just eat rice. OK, I'm actually kind of shocked. It is not that cold out today. <laughs> I was expecting it to be cold because yesterday it was like freezing. It's so, called weather patterns. I was dog. Actually, oh, my God. Is that a little baby spider? Nope. Nope. Sis ain't doing it today. Oh, she's obsessed with this song. I, Amber, if you're watching this, which I know you are, there is a plethora, I mean a plethora of different holiday music in the YouTube audio library for you to pick from. You don't have to just choose this one just because it's the only copyright free one you were, you were lazy enough to find. I... <laughs> Casey Neistat so is quaking, y'all. And it's so windy outside that our car kept 
doing like the situation where uh, like, this it was situation going off the road it was actually kind of creepy um i thought because like the wind you know, can stop that fucking hurling mass going 70 miles per hour but down the freeway and it's kind of like freaking me out because <laughs> but it's kind of like freaking me out i just hope like you know we're safe on the way home it's interesting how, oh my God, we're getting another one of these shots. It's interesting how in yesterday's video, she was talking about how she didn't want to do any, she didn't want to eat any of the leftovers from Friendsgiving or whatever because she didn't want to sabotage her weight loss. But sis has been like going to buffets and out to eat consistently. So I'm confused as to like, what is, what is her, what is Amber Lynn's definition of sabotage? That's what I want to know. At least it's on a fried roll. Okay, you guys, I spoke way too soon. It's now frigid outside. I should probably just start carrying around a jacket or like leave it in the car or something. My fault. Don't come for me. But I was like having a Marilyn Monroe <laughs> okay. moment because my dress is kind of like super loose and it's like light feeling and it's so windy it was like coming like girl you're wearing black tights underneath it no one's gonna see anything uh, my skin didn't show because like i stopped it from happening but it was um mm, kind of scary <sighs> everything's so scary to, to her i hate that i hate when store. people define like, like all said, things as scary things. and when i was it's having my scary. sushi the guy actually wrote california on the side with that sauce which I was trying to show you in my little clip. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. It looks like calamari. <laughs> Could have seen that. It looked like um, calamari. It looked a lot better in person than it did in the little tiny clip. But yeah, it was pretty cool. So my most favorite makeup wipes in the world. These girl, invest you in some like oil and a fucking wash rag. Weren't you like two weeks ago? She was like reading that thing about how makeup removers are polluting the environment at an alarming rate, and now it's like she's gone through I don't know how many packages of makeup wipes. Like, and she uses like four on each eye. Neutrogena, Neutrogena, cleansing palettes. Neutrogena. These actually do not break me out. They actually make my skin feel super, super soft. Hot cocoa and chill. Look how cute that is also really like that one i couldn't imagine having to go to fucking walmart every day like and and, and it's not it's like for me it's not even really an anxiety thing because like soup i mean are there any regular walmarts anymore or is every walmart a super walmart i mean i'm old enough to remember when there were just regular walmarts but now i think every walmart is a super walmart but it's such a big box store that it's like it's big enough where like the crowd isn't like super packed or whatever, but like I hate going there. I loathe going there. I always get a headache when I'm in there because of all the fluorescent lighting. And I just uh like going to Walmart every day, I'd rather just I'd rather kill myself, real talk. That one's really cute too. Leftovers are for quitters. That's a <laughs> that's perfect. You should oh, get that one. Night. Oh my god, these are adorable, but this one has to be my favorite for sure. What is this? Oh my god, it's strobing. Hello? She put she put her iPhone in the refrigerator. What are you guys doing in my fridge? Oh, this is so what? cringy. This is so no. cringy, Amber. The grocery haul happens Amber. The fridge. Okay, that was cringy. The grocery haul happens in the bedroom where you eat it all. Cringe Lynn. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a grocery haul. Do you think, she, do you think she's gone back to the frozen salmon? We'll see if I can actually succeed. We got some chicken. I needed more turkey sausage patties. Ugh, those are disgusting. I needed some ground turkey. This is the 93% lean, 7% fat. I got a few of these. They're the orange chicken. <laughs> orange I thought she didn't lid. like orange chicken that much, I girl. I doing that, but y'all got me. It's a habit. Um, right, because so you have no personality of your own. From Cheesecake Factory, but also love it. Lean cuisine. You said you didn't love the Cheesecake Factory one. It was just a coincidence that you would go there four times in a day. What happened, girl? 
you got to keep up with the lies. You can't be, you can't, you got, if you're going to lie so much, you need at least like keep it a, a list in your journal so you can refresh your memory every day. Clean form. Really good. And then I got a couple of the Lean Cuisine meatball and mashed potatoes. So much for being sodium Those sensitive. Are my favorite Lean Cuisines. Those are probably yes, like the highest it. level of got like some sodium. Potatoes. Oh, at least those aren't individually and wrapped. I got chicken broth because I'm going to be making a soup or trying more to sodium. She didn't even get the low so sodium one. But I don't even know if I know how anymore. We got spinach, makeup wipes, English muffins, which I'm going to start having those for breakfast. I fucks heavily with English muffins, English so I'll muffin. give her that one. I hate filming right here because... An English muffin with just like butter on it ends. and warm. My dark, my Toasted. Dark Yummy. So even worse. Don't like it. I got a couple of these steam fresh. It's just brown rice. I mean... It's I mean, she's figured out how to make broccoli from scratch or whatever, I guess. Why can't she figure out how to like make rice? Like just get you a big ass bag of rice, follow the instructions, get a pot of water, make you some rice or get a rice cooker. I mean, I'm surprised she hasn't gotten an instant pot yet. Real talk. I mean, I know it's Cyber Monday and I saw one on sale for like $69. So get on it, girl, get you an instant pot. It's literally just brown rice. <laughs> like there's no added ingredients. And arsenic. In this. It's brown rice brown and rice arsenic. And water. Got some sliced water chestnuts. I'm gonna try to make some fried rice. Who knows what? <laughs> Just say it. I fried also got rice. Some General Tso's stir fry sauce. We'll see how that turns out. Cause I have no idea. All the dishes are still behind her. I thought she was gonna pot. tackle all those. What happened? For the stir fry. <laughs> I'm nervous. Let's cross our fingers. Of course you did. I know. I knew as soon as as soon as I saw it, I was like, she's gonna come up with some reason. I get them like this. I knew it because it's already cleaned. I just cut off the stem part because I don't like the texture of it. And I got some baby cucumbers, and that's all I got. Um, definitely got some broccoli for it. She didn't need much really. And right, because she doesn't go through her food so quickly. See, that's the thing that, like, I like with the Walmart trips and the like, the the um, frequency at which they occur. Like, is she eating better? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. That that's still <laughs> that we still have the jury's still out on that one. Um, it's the quantity. So, like, it's the quantity of which of how she eats and the amount that she eats. And like, if you're going to Walmart every day because you have to get groceries every day and she's buying a lot every day <laughs> so it's like how is it that she's not eating all this food so quickly you know what i'm saying like that's what i don't understand and then also going out to eat too like she's gone out to eat every day pretty much every vlog has she's gone out to eat in some capacity so it's like who's putting all this food away like i'm sure it's not eric and ricky and you just admitted that becky rarely gets things when you guys go to the grocery store so I'm gonna put away this mess. I have made a mess. And I was throwing these on the ground. <laughs> so That's nice of I'll you. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. So I I, I would get I'm gonna guarantee you they don't reuse those bags. I mean, I live in California and we're not allowed to, um, you have to buy bags now and it's like, ain't no one gonna buy like 10 cents a bag. So you have to take your reusables, but like you would think that they would have some or they would have invested in some reusable bags by now, considering they go grocery shopping like every day. I just put away the groceries. I'm sure in Kentucky I've it's been, like, probably, oh, really more water. Today, especially cause I had sushi and I use a lot of soy sauce. Okay, not a lot, but <sighs> definitely enough. Where what I was the point like of I having that having multiple water, water filtration systems sauce, if you're just gonna buy bottled water and drink that only? <sighs> we needed that. We needed the proof that Brady, you drink you're water. you're not supposed to be on the table. I swear to God. <sighs> Baby girl. Come Cats here, being on eating surfaces is like my biggest oh. pet peeve. <laughs> She's like, no, you don't. Brittle. Mama love you and all, but you can't be on this the table. This is not a good angle. Like this. <laughs> this is not flattering. <laughs> She's like, 
Now she's playing with the lid to my bottle. Baby girl. <laughs> Twinkie! <laughs> Comment of the day. Damn, we're already at... Okay. We're halfway... Becky was excited about doing We're getting craft. 10 minutes of Becky Comment of the day. I was excited about anything. Her emotion level is flat. Agreed. We have been getting a lot of comments about how Becky has been acting and looking in my vlogs. She looks and miserable. I just want you guys to know that she might be sharing kind of what's going on. Again, it's her choice. Uh, there oh, has been again with the fucking teasers. A lot of rumors as to what's going on with Becky. And I don't know. Y'all try to do a cancer scam, so I would imagine she's pretty hurt about that. People calling her out for that bullshit. It's just not fair that these rumors are happening because people will start assuming them. Becky shouldn't have to share what's going on with her, but I know you... But you're on here teasing it all the fucking time. That's the... Th Ugh. This is one of the characteristics of Amarill and I find so incredibly frustrating. If you don't want people to talk about it, then quit mentioning or hinting at or alluding to just fucking knock it off dude if you don't want people to question what's going on with becky then don't show her in the fucking vlogs and don't sit here and talk about maybe one day she'll come on here and talk about it if she's comfortable with it you know what how about you just don't talk about it and then if that day ever comes then then becky can sit in front of the camera and talk about it how about that this alluding to shit is only causing more rumors and everything. She got way less comments yesterday. So I can understand why so many people. She usually gets like 5,000 comments. She only got like 2,500 yesterday. Yes, she was excited to do the craft. It's great seeing her moving more and eating better. I hope it continues. I hope it does too. Right now, I am wanting all the junk. Candy, hot Cheetos. Oh my god, I haven't had candy in so Girl, long. Girl, you went to a Chinese buffet two Which days ago. Amazing. And hot Cheetos, the spiciness and the crunch. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I go crazy. I have a weird taste bud, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. So, that was pretty funny. <laughs> she only yeah, has a taste um, bud for fried food. Taste buds. That's just like how it is. A lot of people. She's not talking about your weird taste bud. She was talking about how you use the singular tense of taste bud when we in fact have like a shit ton in our in our fucking mouth, like in our on our tongues. Like that's what she's. <sighs> Amberlynn is so dumb that she doesn't even get when people are like ribbing her for certain things. Like it just goes right over her head. I don't like understand how someone can like, be this stupid. In the, in like in the comments, they say like mean things about it, but my food tastes good. Everyone who's ever tried things that I've made has really liked it. Um, girl, the comments just make me. That's feel why like the, Eric and Ricky food. don't even let you cook anymore for so them. I'm actually getting a lot of nice comments on here. Here's another love seeing you happy up and doing things. We'll talk about the nice comments towards the end. Better than ever, rooting for you. I appreciate that so much. I really, really do. I love seeing comments like this. Like, it just makes me smile. Yeah, because you love attention and you love ass pats. Be, you know, for me to maybe clarify things. And I know a lot of people don't like them if it's just a bunch of sweet things, which for me, I prefer it. So I just wanted to let you guys Shocker. know Shocker. You prefer people you know, like kissing your ass. I'm surprised. We all do. You guys probably wouldn't want to sit here through all the nice comments. But I have been reading every single one and i appreciate them so much girl i could not I imagine like sitting there and reading all my comments i'd rather so much poke better. needles in my that eyes that makes me really happy and i promise you it was so delicious i loved baked potatoes with salsa as well and i was trying to find a different way to also get in veggies and protein and honestly it was delicious if she was losing weight you'd think she'd weigh in as an f you to the haters um i have thought about it I have thought about this several times, trust me on that one, but it's just, it's not worth it to me. I have set a goal for myself and I want to achieve that before I do a weigh-in video. Because yeah, because you're trying to get to down to a lower weight than your highest, because I'm sure you gained wrong, a ton of weight. People right. Okay, you guys, so this is the last one. Every single one that I've just went through, and I've gone through like 20, has been super sweet. This one says, loving this vlog. I'm here for her new outlook. Thank you so much, Mom on a Dime. I appreciate that so I love the much. way Outlook looks so now, too. What I'm going to do is I'm I, gonna go I to really enjoy video, Office. And I'm going to read the first top comment, which is the most liked comment. I think that's how it works. 
Okay, so here we are. Okay. She wears her new dresses, does her makeup, cooks healthier dishes, our girls improving. Wow. I was expecting something like rude to be the first one, honestly, because that's been my reality for so long. Even though well, second I one, mean, keep this attitude, don't go back to Can we Amber. blame anyone for that? I mean... Oh my god. When she said she was crying because she could walk for nine minutes. Good job, Amber. And honestly... <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> she's gonna start crying? She seems so much more likable. I'm confused. I'm confused. Um, I'm not confused. Know, like, <laughs> where all this positivity is coming from. Like, I, I don't, like, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. I look like a freaking hot mess. I wasn't going to show myself. I usually end with comment of the day, and I look like an absolute insane person. Um, I, I appreciate your guys' comments so much, and I really do want to do a weigh-in, but it's like, I told myself, like, I, I want to be down a certain amount of weight because I want to show people that I'm serious and not just like weigh in and be like oh da, 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 da. you guys know how I've been in the past you know mm -hmm. I gain and lose the same same 10 pounds and girl it's not the same 10 pounds <laughs> stop stop see this is the things where I'm like I, it's hard for me to take her serious like because I don't think I'll I'll get to it at the end I don't I'll get to it at the end that anymore because that's not going to save my life let's fucking get through this help with my health and it's like i have a very very ugh, pillow mountain i know a lot of people are gonna say stuff about that but there's like no sheets whatever. on those <laughs> pillows like, either there's no cases on those pillows just, like i'm afraid to fail like i am so afraid of failing and i have done my fair share of crying as of late because i no longer turn to food when I'm feeling such strong emotions, I am turning to actual tears and feeling my emotions instead of turning to food. And I've I've been going at it for. I mean, I hope I that's know, true. It's been about a month now, and it's just like I didn't talk about it for the first couple of weeks because I did not want to trigger myself because sharing my weight loss on YouTube has never turned out good but it's like now that i've been doing this for a month and i just feel so much better and in the right mind frame although yes some hot cheetos sound bomb but i'm not gonna do it um now that i'm in the better mind frame it's like i do want to talk about it but i also don't want to talk about it too much i don't want to overshare but it's like i also want to share my journey for the people who have been following me and who have been wanting me to succeed and it's like i want to be an inspiration to people and again all these dude sweet comments, this is like <laughs> why i have, I have some comments about this because sometimes no matter how hard you i try, have some comments no about how this hard you do you can 100 percent relapse when you're a food addict and i have again here it is dude this is the life, same shit you know? dude we, this is all is scary again this is cyclical for her so well but you're used to doing so bad it's scary, but it's also very exciting. And it it does make me really emotional. And I have cried a lot recently because of it. Like these little things where it's like, I do weigh myself every day. It's a bad habit. And it's like seeing the scale go in the right direction. Like I'm not saying I'm down like this huge amount. Like I'm not down like a hundred pounds, obviously like high. <laughs> I mean, even you if you were down 100 pounds, like, you'd still be, like, scale high. move in the right direction has been just amazing for me. And it feels good because it's like, I'm finally doing this. <sighs> I'm going to I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm going to stop Please. ranting about Please. this and talking about this. But I just want to let you guys know, like, thank you so much for your guys' sweet comments. Like, I'm just not used to it. And I guess I'm just, like overwhelmed with like joy and stuff like i just feel really grateful and it's like i just appreciate it a lot i really do so moving on i do hope you guys enjoyed this day of vlogmas um vlogmas is boring but i'm gonna vlog i'm gonna be a vlog when does she start then, doing this because you know <laughs> when did this yeah, start I hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next one bye okay
Well, since she ended it on Pillow Mountain, I'll end it on Pillow Mountain. This is what I have to. So I've noticed this too, like watching her other her other video and like seeing the comments and everything. Like there's been an uptick of positivity, which is like great. Happy for her. I love that for her. I'm glad that she's feeling herself and people are enjoying her content, I guess. The thing with Amber Lynn is this is part of her cycle. Like this is just what she does. Maybe there's an influx of like new people who are watching her videos right now because it is Vlogmas. And so a lot of people are searching the Vlogmas tag and this might be popping up. The thing with Amber Lynn is, is when you're that overweight, you can probably fix it yourself, but the, the rates are incredibly low. Like it's just, it just is. So unless you're like actively like seeking medical professional help and dealing with your emotions through therapy or other ways, there's no way of really sustaining something like this. And this is, we've all been here. We've done this before, doc. This is the thing is like, we've done this so many times with Amber and what'll happen is she'll keep on this for like, a day or a week or maybe even like a couple of weeks and then she'll fall off the wagon and she'll fall off the wagon hard because she's not doing any of the necessary work in order to maintain this right because she is someone who has is admittedly mentally unhealthy and she has a lot she suffers from mental illnesses and unless you're actively like confronting that stuff and confronting reasons why you eat and i've noticed this with Chantel too like um, they think that they know best and that they have all the answers. And the truth is that when you're that overweight, you don't, you don't have all the answers. Like you have to be like seeking some help from actual pro professionals. And I also think that the ass padding in the comments isn't going to help her really. I'm not saying that they need to go in there and be mean to her by any means. Like don't go over there and be like, oh my God, you suck. Da, 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 da. This is what she wants. Like this is the attention that she so desperately seeks. She seeks, she likes attention in, gener in general, but she mostly seeks validation. These things are just reinforcing the cycles that she goes through in my opinion. And which is why like, I get it. I understand why people want to be excited and happy for her because you do at the end of the day you want her to like save her life that isn't gonna like make everything that she's done in the past seemingly go away i mean she's n she hasn't atoned for the cancer scam she's never really addressed the right thing like there's so many different things that make amberlyn a shitty person than just eating on camera so like i i don't know i think that this is just an all a means to an end again and i would not be surprised if we get another shrimp gate or another hot dog potato mukbang or you know what i'm saying like because that's just that's how she operates and even in this video she's talking about how like she is struggling because she cannot go to food anymore to neutralize her feelings because i honestly think that's what um amber lynn does is when she goes to food for comfort especially emotional comfort it's because she wants to feel nothing i think while she's eating she feels either nothing or happy and i think she even eats when she's overly excited too because she needs to bring herself back down this is all just a part of like the cycle. I don't know. I feel like people are going to get duped. And the thing with this stuff too, I mean, I don't know if she does it again, then it's what she reaps, what she sows. But when she falls off the wagon, people go ham, like they go fucking ham. I would be concerned about that if I were her, because now she has to keep up the, the, the pretense or like the, the falseness of all everything that's going on. And I don't think she's really doing the work behind closed doors. I don't, she's still going out to eat all the time. She's, going to Walmart every day to buy groceries. Like her version of what succeeding is like is incredibly delusional. So that's just my opinion on that. Um, it's Vlogmas. Maybe people are just in a more cheery mood right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm the Grinch. I don't know. Um, let me know what you think down below. I would like to know, like, am I like really off with this one? Or is this a new leaf? Is Amberlynn turning over a new leaf? Who knows? Yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.